people who have a long-term vision see the potential. It's only one mall, but two very different pictures are emerging about why the New Horizon Mall is still sitting mostly empty. Albert Fialco owns two units. One has been rented, the other hasn't. I'm prepared to wait forever. I mean, actually, I, I, I anticipated this. I put the financing in place so that, yes, I can literally hold on to this for five years. Uh, I'm treading water, but I don't expect, I'm not sinking by any stretch of the imagination, but, you know, I can tread water for a long time, certainly long enough to, uh, to wait for the mall to come into its own. But there are also growing concerns about negative attention the mall is starting to get. Multiple sources are worried it may affect their ability to sell or lease properties, which is why, despite several conversations, no one with those concerns is willing to go on camera. And multiple sources are also telling City News it's been difficult to move forward on projects with mall ownership and that ownership has been unresponsive. It's hard with 400 and 50 individual investors. It's hard to communicate with everybody, especially when we speak different languages. Um, and there are unreal expectations upon the, the ownership, the, the Torgan Group, that, uh, that we all be kept abreast of what's going on. Well, I mean, there's, there's no point in dangling a carrot in front of somebody or promising something that they can't deliver on. So again, they're working on it. In fact, the mall has offered a $5,000 incentive to businesses to open their doors before December 31st. And certainly that's going to help because the, the cost to finish a unit in terms of lighting and flooring, uh, well, I have a double unit that I finished, and uh, it was about $8,000. So $5,000 would certainly go a long way to cover those costs. And it may be a case that some investors weren't aware of the challenges of owning and leasing retail space. Are people overextended? Quite possibly. Uh, but to think that they were going to make money from day one certainly is unrealistic. According to Fialco, more than 60 units are finished. He has no idea why they're willing to lose money every day instead of opening. City News continues to reach out to mall management for comment, but has not been successful to this point. The grand opening was scheduled for October 27th. That's been moved to a date to be determined next year. In Calgary, Jonathan Muma, City News.